And with Mithali Raj, India's ace batter, who's just played a match winning innings for India against Sri Lanka, to confirm India's place in the ACC Asia Women's Cup final. Um, Asia Cup final starts, plays on Sunday. Mithali, it's your first time in Thailand? Yeah, this is my first time in Bangkok, yeah. So have you thought of the conditions, the wicket, the ground? Well, when we uh, when we landed here, we got to know there's a change of the uh, venue because of the uh, rains. I was expecting a very unprepared uh, facilities, but then uh, they have shifted it within two days. They've prepared the wickets, and it is it, it's a decent wicket to bat on. I wouldn't uh, rate it very high because T20 games you need batting friendly wickets, but these wickets are on a slower side. Uh, giving the time that they had, they definitely have got the matches going. That's the plus. That's the biggest thing because when you have an Asia Cup and so many teams are in for matches, you need to have matches and give more opportunities for younger teams like uh, Thailand, Nepal, and uh, a go in the middle to play against the good sides in Asian uh, countries like Sri Lanka, Pakistan, India. So it's it's a very good uh, gesture that you know they have actually got all the matches uh, played on these grounds and uh, it's. it's it's even good for young players to get an experience uh, playing against good players or good sides. Now, you've um, yourself, in your first innings, uh, first innings of the tournament against Bangladesh, um, you had a slowish start, I think, due to the wicket, just, just placing the ball for ones and twos, um, not, risking, not risking any um, big shots. But today, you opened out a bit and you were going for um, uh, you know, more dynamic strokes. Is that because the wicket played a bit better? Yeah, there are, uh, like every game we are having a different wicket to play on, so uh, the first game the wicket was uh, very soft, so it was, uh, uh, you know, uh, evident that you, know, you need to go a few shots, you cannot just play as, as you play on any good dry wicket. And the second uh, match against Pakistan, again, it, uh, the wicket slowed down, there was a bit of turn in it and the, the ball was gripping. Today the wicket was good, uh, even in the first in, uh, the first innings itself I've seen a bit of turn. Uh, West Nuti got a couple of balls which turned really square. So uh, again as I mentioned it's on a slower side and there will be uh, uh, spin for the uh, bowlers and uh, it will be a little uh, difficult for the stroke players uh, especially ones who, who are good in long hits because where the ball comes onto the bat here you need to wait and time the ball. Obviously, you're a master of uh, timing. You've played some incredible shots uh, today. But you're one of the few batters in world cricket who've um, not only had a long career, but have played all forms of the game T20, 50 overs, plus cricket. Um, for a young Indian batter coming up, what do you think, if you were their coach, what would you teach them in terms of uh, stroke play? Well, I definitely would. Uh teach them how to build an innings because that's very important. Once you know how to build an innings, you can always uh, uh, adapt to any form of the game, whether it's test, one day or a T20. But uh, you need to know when to attack and when to be aggressive and when to get on to a bit of a defensive uh, 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 these things. This, uh, this is very important when it comes to batting because you cannot always be aggressive or you cannot always uh, maintain to be defensive. There has to be a time when you understand how the bowlers bowl, you need to respect the situation and uh, even study the wicket. So all these things come into play uh, to, to, to be a very good player. Now uh, looking ahead, uh, thank you for that. Now looking ahead to um, what's going to be the final that comes down on Sunday. Um, any special um, you know, India won the Asian Cup in, in a different forms than the last one was 20 years in China. Um, do you think going for six has been the goal from the very start? Uh, yes, definitely, because we being the uh, very uh, dominant team in the Asian regions, uh, it is uh, uh, it, it is very important that we win all games and then we get into the finals and win because it would be the sixth consecutive uh, Asia Cup for us. And uh, we have we have the team to do very well. We have some very good youngsters. So this outing will give them a lot of boost. Now um, the gap may be slim um, narrowing between you and Pakistan. But is that the case or is that not the case? Well, uh, I would say that there is a progression in terms of other teams like Pakistan, even Sri Lanka for that matter. Bangladesh have done very well to what I've seen them when they came into the Asia Cup a uh, few years back. So there definitely is, there is a progression and it is, it is good for the sport because uh, once you have 
other teams competing with the best side, you you as a good side also will try and uh, upgrade your game and uh, you know try and compete with the best. Yeah. Um, much last question. Um, going back with the trophy, do you feel the public back home recognise your achievements as much as uh, you'd um, like, or do you feel satisfied? With well, uh, ideally, I would I would want more of uh, you know promotion of Asia Cup because we had a very good home series against West Indies. We had a lot of uh, crowd turning up for those matches. Uh, it, it's even nice to see here that you know I never expected there would be decent crowd cheering cheering us for every game, Very especially for the crowd. Pakistan match. We had a, quite a bit of crowd and I'm expecting them to come on Saturday as well. So uh, yeah, it is very important that you promote the sport even in your own country. That doesn't usually happen because when we tour abroad, uh, the so we only bank on the social media, uh, you know, the Insta and, and certain posts which we, the girls themselves post. But it's very important that these matches, if they're televised, I heard that the finals will be televised. So it's, uh, it, it's a good thing because uh, the more people see us on television and see and follow women's cricket, the more people will follow it around the world. Um, Cricket's ambassador, India's ambassador, Natali Raj, received the Batman, the player of the match trophy today <laughs> from the ambassador of India to Thailand. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.